Hey guys, this is Eric with Mediavine, and this is our Go for Teal video series. Uh, right now we're doing a little sub-series of how to improve your RPM, and this week we want to talk about shortening your sidebar. Um, so if you've recently onboarded with Mediavine, or even if you've been with us for a while, you've probably heard of this hint before, and this is shortening your sidebar. So why is it so important to have less in your sidebar? Um, so here at Mediavine, we kind of innovated in that we reduced a lot of the sidebar ads that so many other ad companies were running. And we only run two sidebar ads as of this time, one at the very top of your sidebar and one at the bottom. Uh, and so anything you have in between is going to be longer before your user gets to that bottom ad as they're scrolling through your page. And that bottom ad is what we call our sticky sidebar. Um, so as you scroll past it, it's going to stick to the top of the screen. Uh, and then, what's even uh, cooler is that every 30 seconds going to refresh and get you another ad. So that ad is extremely valuable. And the reason why is because it sticks with the user as they scroll, it's going to have very high viewability and very high engagement. And again, high engagement means that advertisers are going to come back and keep buying from your site. So high engagement and high viewability are the most important things to an advertiser. So that ad unit becomes immediately the most valuable ad on your site. Uh, and it's a desktop ad unit, and desktop ads are generally worth more than mobile. So now you suddenly have a desktop, highly viewable, highly engaged ad that refreshes every 30 seconds. It's extremely important to your site. So the problem is, the more content you run before that, between that top sidebar ad and that bottom one, means it's longer before that gets in the view. So the, remember, the longer it's in view, the more times it can refresh, the more money you're ultimately going to make. Um, so really what we're asking everyone to do is analyze your sidebar. Uh, figure out what users actually want. So you may have an about me widget, uh, follow me social icons, uh, your recent uh, images on Pinterest or Instagram, whatever you may have on there. The problem is most of your users aren't actually interacting with that. So if you were to install a heat map or software that basically monitors what users are using on your site, you'd be very surprised to figure out how few of your users are actually engaging with those widgets. Uh, however, we can tell you your users are definitely engaging with your ads in that viewable spot because it sticks with your user. Um, so really, we're asking to remove things that your users aren't even using. Uh, so it's not going to hurt your user experience, and it's going to vastly improve uh, your ad performance. So the shorter you can make that sidebar, uh, the better you're going to be. We actually have a health check in the dashboard uh, that kind of indicates the healthiness of that sticky sidebar ad. Uh, what it's actually doing in the back end is measuring how many times that ad was able to refresh relative to that top sidebar ad. Um, so if you don't have a 1.5 or a 2.0 for teal, um, that's generally going to indicate a problem. So make sure you have much shorter sidebars, but you're also going to need long engaging content to make sure that users on your site for a while and engage with their content and therefore that ad has had time to refresh. Um, by shortening your sidebar and writing more engaging content, uh, you will definitely pay off in leaps and bounds on that ad unit. Um, so please, uh, if you take nothing else from this, basically run one widget at most between your top sidebar ad and your bottom, and that's going to be the most ideal amount. So really think about what the most important thing that you want to say to your user. Uh, we've seen a lot of sites that are a little more personal, do like an about me in that section. Uh, if you're more of like a viral type site, think about just showing related posts or your top posts. Think about just the one thing you want to show to your user. And uh, thank you guys. So please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel in addition to following this advice, and I will see you guys next week.